What is up everybody? Today we're looking at how to find the area of rectangles using its official formula. Let's go. So now we can see we have what's called a compound shape because what we've got here are two rectangles joined together. And we also have a missing value. We'll see if that's important later. So the first thing I need to do is I need to cut this back into its original two rectangles. So I could cut it just here and call this shape A and this B, or I could cut it along here and call this A and this B. Either is fine, so let's leave it just like this. So first of all, I need to work out the area for shape A. So let's say shape A is here, and area equals base times height. So in this case, we need to find the base. Well, my base would be this line just here that I'm drawing. This is the base of rectangle A. And we can see if we look opposite, the measurement is 10 centimeters. So we're gonna have area equals 10 times, well, what's our height? We can see our height will be over here of two centimeters. So 10 times two, therefore area equals 20 centimeters squared. Don't forget that part. So that's shape A. Now we need to do the same to shape B. Well, let's start with our formula. Area equals base times height. And now let's look for our base. We can see our base is just here. But uh oh, I'm now in millimeters. So I need to convert this back to centimeters. So 70 millimeters becomes seven centimeters. So my area equals seven times the height, which is gonna be this length just here. Because remember, we only need to go to that line there because this part would be part of shape A. So we might look at this and think, well, it's seven centimeters. But no, because seven centimeters goes all the way from the bottom to the top. So we need to get this seven centimeters and get rid of this part here. So let's look opposite. Well, I can see that part was two centimeters. So therefore, my height is going to be seven subtract two, which is five. So my area equals seven times five, which is 35 centimeters squared. And that is the area of shape B. But am I finished? No, because so far I've got the area of shape A and I've got the area of shape B. What do I need to do? That's right, put them back together to get my total. So my area is going to be 20 plus 35. So therefore my area equals 55 centimeters squared. Whoa, loads to do, but not too tricky. Not when you know how. So your turn, and I've been quite kind to you. These are kind of orange chili challenges. Can you work out the area of these two shapes? Let's call them shape A and shape B. Press pause on the video, take your time, and put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna try and mark them all. And there you have it. That is how to find the area of a rectangle using the official formula. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos to help you with everything you need to know about maths. But for now guys, see you in another video. Peace 